Hello everyone, Trooper Busy, welcome back to Donkey Kong Country 2. Last time, we defeated K. Rule and dumped him into his swamp with this, though, or more accurately, Donkey Kong, who had breaking out after we beat K. Rule, dumped him into the swamp with that, though. But we're not done with the game yet, though, with that, though, because there's still something, because now we finally have 15 cram coins, so we can actually go to the Lost World stage over here. That, that's over here with that, though. But there's something I want to address first before I do that, though. It's actually, and it's something that's actually going to involve me having both Kongs there, so I want to just jump into a random level over here, though, to... To visit, just, just to go grab a DK barrel with this, though, so I can get, so I can get both Kongs available. So, now, now that I have Dixie back over there, so t let's get out of there with we'll Start Select. And that's because up over in Stronghold Showdown over here, though, it was a glorified cutscene over here, though, but say we go here, we, we, you come back here after this, so there's, there's actually a little bit of hidden stuff over here. Like, first of all, it's just a basic walk over there, though, but... Using the teams, though, there's stuff that's hiding up over here, though. There's, there's some coins and a, and a balloon over there. And a one-up balloon over there. Also, yeah, you may have noticed, that though, that I have... That the life counter has reset because I basically had... To, because I basically had to start... Like, for this, from the file thing again, though, for that, though. Because because we beat the game, though. But, yeah, I wanted to show that that was there, though. Also, I should also point out, as well, though, that... In the Game Boy Advance version of this game, though, there actually is a boss fight here, though. And it's one that I'm not really able to show because I don't have the I don't have that version of the game though. But there is an extra boss fight that actually is in actually is in Stronghold so Showdown. It's a boss designed to slow you down while K Rule's making his esca escape though. But I digress though. We talked about that enough though. So let's go on and head over to Clubus Kiosk for our last bonus for our last Lost World stage. Stop right there, you scummy swaps. Step in me toll bridge and I'll throw you overboard. We got we got the one. We got that though. It's like, you're my best mate these now. So yeah, we got one last little... So yeah, we, we still have one last Lost World so, stage over here. The Animal Antics. Oh no. Another one that's not, that's not looking forward to here though. I love the idea of this stage though, but this is definitely a brutal stage here. So we're starting off right out of the gate though. The we start over here though. We're starting off with Rambi over here though. So we're basically just going to go plow through enemies over here though and... Like bounce off zingers though, and then you. So yeah, the, the idea is though is just to go through this over here though, but this part is pretty easy though. In fact, actually, if you use the charge feature though, if you, I think if, if you line it up right though, you actually can, can plow through that section with, like very easily. But now we get to now we over here though, and then there's, yeah, we got a cannon that's that's shooting at us with this, so you gotta w watch out for that though. And then once you drop down over here though, we're gonna we now get to an on guard barrel. So. This is more or less the mechanic of the stage here. Is that there? Is that the? Is that you're pretty much going through with multiple? With, you're basically going through with the different animal buddies over here, though. And each animal buddy has its segment over here. So, so we so we had the on guard. So, so we had the on guard. We're in the on guard one right now. We had the Rambi one that we're, that we're going through right that, that we went through earlier though. That was the easy one. And and these and these stay and these parts get definitely get more difficult. That, that was just stupid. Again, the, the the danger with the on guard section is you, if you try to go too fast. So now let's. What? the... Okay, did it just go through me? Did, did that spider just go through me though, or did we just miss each other with that though? <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was a bit. That was weird. But in any case, though. Hit a banana bunch over here, though. So now we're back. Uh, this part over here, though. So now we got the. Now we have the section with Squitter, though. And there's our checkpoint barrel over here, though. So. And I'm amazed I got through that one, though. I thought I was going, wasn't going to move fast enough, though. So. Again, so. Again, the mechanic of the stage over here is just, is just. Again, like each animal buddy has a section that we have to go through, though. And these stage. Especially as especially after you get past the first couple of them, though, they stop messing around, though. Is it. I, because this one's going to throw a lot of enemies at you, though. Because, again, remember, Squirter can't actually bounce off enemies, though. He, You can only... Also, yeah, there, there, there was a coin hiding down there, over, over there with that, though. So, they, they, nothing really too worrying, though, with that, though. But th this part gets a little f finicky as well. Just, just, just trying to dodge the, trying to dodge his aims while creating platforms. If you know where they are, though, it's not so bad, though. But... That's actually this part over here, though. That's actually not bad, though. You don't want to actually go in that barrel just yet, though, because up over here, there's a hidden, pa there's a passage up over here, though, to reach the to reach the bonus barrel over here, though. You do need to use the web to reach that, though. But yeah, 
but it's, it's one of those we gotta take out we gotta take out all the enemies over here. This is one that, that definitely time's not on your side. So this is one you kind of want to move it a, a bit a bit with this though. And oh, I'm barely not high enough to where, to where I can, to get to the squawks one there. And of course, and the and the other problem of course is that the transformation barrels eat time as well. The timer the timer the timer does not stop during that. So you got yeah. So you have to make sure the time budget is for that as well. So so that's our so that's our 39th DK coin there. So. And so that's the bonus stage of this world, of this level here, though. So now we're now we're over here, though, and this is where it gets really bad. There's a bramble level here, though. So see, see, it's see, it's see it's take a wild guess who we're gonna be playing as. Though. I mean, how many? I mean, how many bramble stages do we play using him? But also, you may notice that there's a little debris around over here, though, as well that we haven't seen since. Uh, since, since that one level in the in the haunted woods area though that they in gloomy gulch that's because there's also wind mechanic here as well though and it definitely makes it very awkward here though I mean I mean once you know what to do with it though it isn't as bad though but it's still what it's still one of the most annoying parts part of the stage here with this though because 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 the way it's, it's on a timer though to where it basically goes back and forth at, at certain time increments though but it, it's a pain if you're trying to get everything with it they're trying to get the the, the Kongos and stuff that like, explore different outcomes over here though but effectively effectively a strategy I have is to is to is to, is to, is to kind of is to, you definitely don't want to rush this though is, is this though with that though so and, and honestly a lot of times I find that facing away like facing it direct facing against the wind helps out please tell me I think there's a I think there's a DK barrel up here though okay yeah there is so let's try that again so, so, so again, you you, you want to try to again you want you want to try to move against the wind when you can though for, for the for the control for the control movements there and and, and just and try to time the wind so, so that you can go faster at points where you have the opening here. Again, like, again, this definitely again this is this is definitely a stage where it gets awkward that you got to be very careful here. So just. Again, like I find the again, like I find going against the wind is is the is a safer but slower option here, though. Although I find that sometimes it's not always the best option though, because you have, sometimes they they try to catch you with that though. But that actually wasn't as bad. I took I did take a hit there, but I wasn't able to recover from that easily though. Actually, it was actually I'm amazed I because I don't I normally die at least once there. So but yeah, Bradley's section over here though. Isn't as bad though, but it gets a there, there's a there's a point that this point get does get a bit awkward though, you because you have to basically line up your bouncing to keep bouncing off that zinger until you reach the next safe point here though. And so like I said, this part it's not it, it just gets a little awkward here though. But also now we got this over here though. Time to barrel up over here though to get to this one over here though, and then and, and there's the end of the level there. So go ahead and celebrate, Diddy Kong. We we just beat that stage first try. I only tell you, you get a whopping one hit. So like so, like that was actually that was worked out nicely though. But in any case though, once you have beaten all the Lost World stages over here though, now we get to open up this path over here to Crocodile Core, and this is actually a point where I'm gonna go ahead and flash on screen different points of this of this though because you may have noticed I don't because sharp eyed viewers may have noticed th th this little stone bridge over here as well though that was not there initially though. Every time you clear a Lost World stage. Like, like uh, more gets added to that stone bridge, which lets you reach the core with that though. So, again, like, like, uh, but that's what I'll be flashing on screen. What, what the, each of them looks like though, with that though. So, it's a nice little throwback to kind of like how it was in the first Donkey Kong Country game, where, where on the map screen, after you beat each world, K rules ship, the gameplay galleon got closer to the island. So it's, it's one of those little details with that though. Except it's a little, it's more subtle about it actually though. But with that though, so, but. We have, but now we have to go to the Crocodile Court where there is a boss fight here. Let's do it. K. Rule has gotten out of his swamp and he is definitely not happy. <laughs> but yeah, we have, we have another boss fight here. He's he's right out of the gate shooting the purple clouds at you though. So now he's basically going to be... This basically is a glorified gauntlet, shall we, for this though. Because he's going to be like saying a bunch of attacks at you though. There's not a whole lot you can do to, with that though. So... Now we're at the stage here where you're gonna 
He's gonna be doing a lot of high, a lot of high low ones. So you gotta watch the time with that though. Now he's gonna be setting up multiple ones at you with this though, and and and. The, and of course, the gaps between each one though is, is going to be getting smaller and smaller, which, which means your jumps are going to have to be more precise. I'm actually amazed I got through that one. And, and now he's going to be now he's going to start sh shooting slow and fast ones along with each other, though, so forcing you to have to, to get creative with your dodges here with it. So the, again, this is basically a glorified gauntlet though, because there's a because he's again shoot shooting a bunch of attacks at you. So now there's that uh, shooting these here though, and now he's going to do high high to low. And then there's gonna be this one here. I'm amazed I made that one. And then finally he shoots a barrel at you though. Then throw a cannonball at him, and that is game. He literally is one hit. And he gets thrown into the core there, which And of course the idle animations of the Kongs, like they don't care that uh we just plugged up the core. This may be a very bad thing. <laughs> And then that's it. Let's go. I can only true game you would have finished it off. I can't do it with the with the with the rumbling like that. I can't do that. What the? Let's get out of this miserable dump and get back to Cocky Cock Island. As this place is about to blow, rumbling around the. But also, we have our new thing. Back to see me again. Eh? Then let's see if you improved your hero status, shall we? We've got all 40 of them. We're now number one. I'm not afraid to admit it, Diddy, my boy. Even I'm wrong occasionally. You're just as, you're as big a hero as they come. You must take after me and Donkey. Well done. The fact that you praise me is just, just, just I'm not going to go go correct your grammar on that one, though. With the, the, it's supposed to be Donkey and me. But yet, the, the island is blown, but there's a ship there. Yep, the indication that he, yep, the, the indication that K. Rule has escaped, Qu leading, leading to another, which will lead to another sequel. But that is the hundred percent ending of Donkey Kong Country Two. So we are finally finished with that, though. However, since we're since there's still a little bit more to this, since there's still a little bit of time with this, I'm going to go ahead and show a couple of the extras with this, though. So I'm going to go ahead and cut away to that right, right about now. Okay, so now that we're back in the file select over here with this though, notice that how my percentage point is now 102% on this one with this though. And that is what and that and that is for getting all the all the cram coins, getting all the bonuses, getting all the DK coins, beating Captain K rule both times, getting the best standing. But strangely, that is not all actually though. That what I just listed will only give 101%. For some reason, you have to talk to all the Kongs, as in like cranky, wrinkly Kong. Swanky as well as funky like you have to talk to all of them at least one time in the game And that will give you one extra percentage point for the hundred and two percentage though I'm not entirely sure why they did that though, but point is though that's the requirements for hundred and two percent For that as well, but and also it's, I also like how it's playing off the fact that Getting everything in the first game get got hundred and one percent now is a hundred and two percent So it's kind of playing off that as well though, but that's not all I want to show over here though and that is Remember how in another part though, Cranky had mentioned about those being options menu though. You press down lots of times for some extras though. What he's talking about is actually when you go to a new file here, when you're on this option menu here, as far as which which one you want to go for with this. So, so first of all, you want to hit down plenty of times, and after five, I want to say it is though, you get a music test. And this is basically where you can kind of like basically play play different songs throughout the game. So it's it's all there with that though. So. And like, not really set in any particular order though, but but you can listen like listen to pretty much any track in the game with this though, and including the beauty that is Sticker Brush Symphony. Now it doesn't have like those official names like that though. It has basically has like the names basically of like kind of like what the theme of it is though. So like this is the Bramble one. So that that's what they use for that's, that that's the levels that Sticker Brush Symphony is used for. So there's that though, and it there's pretty most of the tracks are pretty much pretty much all the tracks are here with this though, and I want to say it's like. Even some, that, even some that actually only play like once throughout the entire game. Actually, though. I'm gonna see if I can find one of these. I'm, I'm gonna see if I can find one of those actually with this. Though. But even the ones that only play for like one time or something like that, that are around over there. With that, those that's. that's uh, uh, oh, actually, I think that was, that might be one right there. 
Yep, there's one for Haunted Hall, so that, that, that that's there too. But that wasn't the one I was thinking of initially. I was thinking like the, I was thinking like the, the tune that that plays when you play, when you get that one section in, in Rainby Rumble, as well as the the music that plays during the race. Okay, are they not here then? Because I didn't see it there, so. So yeah, I guess that means not. I guess that means not all the tunes are here though, with that though. So I guess. Let's see. Okay, I'm. I'm gonna take a look again and see. But I guess not all the tunes are here. No, that 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 that, that that's some of the water levels there with that though. But yeah, I, I guess not. So. I guess not. Though. So yeah. So yeah. Some of the some of the songs are here, but I guess not all of them with this though. I wonder if the Game Boy Advance version added more of them to that as well. Though I, I'm going to assume they did because again, I, again, I don't have that version, so I can't speak for experience. But that's not the only thing that's available here in this options menu right here though. With this though, if you press down even more times, there's even a cheat mode with this though. And there, and there's a couple. There's a, there's two codes that you can put into this game. For the, so to, in order to basically go to, to go from there though to actually alter the, the game a bit though with it though they're pretty basic ones though in fact I'm gonna go ahead and show both of them real fast there so I'm gonna start off by I'm gonna start off with one over here though for this one you want to do Y A select A down left A down oh I must have mishit something here there we go okay I must have, I must have misclicked something there with that one though but yeah. But yeah, like, but yeah, that is the code there. And what does that do? So we're gonna go on ahead and go go into go into the game over here though, and just demonstrate this over here though. As we go into this first level over here though, what does that? So what does that code do? You start the game with 50 extra lives as opposed to the four that you would normally start with in the, in the game if you play the game normally here with this though. But so yeah, it's actually a way to kind of make the game easier for you though. But I have to, I have to say though, it is actually a very, it is a very clever way of rare sense of humor with, to basically, kind of basically torment, taunt you the fact that you couldn't, okay, you, you clearly need help beating this game, you had to use this code though, because if you put the letters for select left and, and down for that though, it is, if you basically put the, the first letters of those words in there for that though, the code more or less basically spells out, Yasad Lad. Yes. Really. <laughs> Yeah, again, like, Rare is basically t saying, Oh, you sad lad, you can't beat the game normally here, so obviously you gotta use a cheat code to, to, in order to, to start off with more lives so you just have a chance to beat this game. I am so sorry for that attempt of an accent with there. <laughs> that was... That was bad even for... <laughs> I don't think that was... That was not a... That was not a good attempt at that accent there. But that's not all there with this. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and cut back to the cheat mode to go ahead and show the other one. Okay, we're back in the cheat mode now, and the, uh, there, there, there's one other code that I wanna that, that I wanna bring attention to with this one here, and and, and spell this one out though. It's gonna be B A right right A left A X. If you put if you put if you put the letters to the, to the directional ones, it's basically it, it, think Barrelax. And what does this cheat code do? Let's let's go into the game and and see what this and see what this one does. You start off the you start off the level with both Kongs. Like you see, Dixie's with us right, right, it, for, for now. This one here as well. But there's a catch. I showed earlier there was a DK barrel over here though when I showed the the Yasad Lad one. But yeah, there's no. But yeah, so yeah, the barrel axe cheat removes all DK barrels, making the game a little bit harder. So it's basically it's, it's basically a ver variant of a hard mode. That the, there are checkpoint barrels still over there though with this though, but. You go ahead and get out of here with this, though. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and show something as well, though. I'm gonna go and intentionally take a hit here as we go, as I get to the end of the stage, though, because I want, because there is, because I want to show, because I want to show that this little, this little feature starts off on every level with this, though. And I'm, I don't know why I grabbed that DK coin again, though. It's not, it's not like I'm, it's not like I'm trying to 100% this here. In fact, actually, I don't even care about getting the target there with this, though. But I want to go ahead and show. By jumping into the next level with this over here, though, that the starting with both Kongs thing does feature in every level. So you get you start each level with both Kongs, but because there's no DK barrel in the stage, though, that means you basically get one free hit each level, or and then you're done. 
Definitely is. Definitely can be annoying, especially for those bonuses that require both Kongs to reach because you need a team throw to reach it, though. But this, again, adds a layer of difficulty to the game with, with this, though. But you don't get anything for it, though. Oh, you just get bragging rights for it, though. You don't even get, like, anything to show, like, on the screen or anything like that. Like, your percentage points don't go up by any point. By, for, by completing this harder mode, though, with that, though. So, nothing like that in this game, though, but... And that's the only thing I can really think of to really show with the cheat codes. Like, I guess like, those are the only two that are in the game. At least in the Super Nintendo version, though. The Game Boy Advance version does have more to play with, though. But... But the thing is, though, you don't... You, but, the, but, again, I don't have... Again, because I, I don't have it, I can't show it right now, though. Maybe if I get the Game Boy Advance version, I'll make, I may go, return to this and just basically show, like, that some of the differences between the... That though, like 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 those cheats and the like the extra cheats, the extra the, the extra stuff that's in there as well as well as the extra boss fight though. But again, not again without that, I can't show that right now though. So that may be some, that may be some point down down in the future though. But aside from that though, the only other thing I can really think to show at this point is that I want to go ahead is basically go ahead and flash on screen what it looks like though if you did not get enough DK coins to reach the third place thing over here with that. For, for Cranky's for Cranky's awards, but that though basically showed like I mentioned it earlier though, but I just now get to show that yes, Link is the cameo for the third place slot there if you don't get enough of them with that though. So, so again, again, Nintendo praising their own franchises or actually or, or rare actually they're kind of like th throwing not to the Nintendo franchises though as well as taking shots at the Genesis ones. <laughs> Poor Sonic. Poor Earthworm Jim. But. I believe that is all I can really show with this game right here, though. So, I believe that's pretty much it. That that pretty much is it for this, though. So, I'm gonna go ahead and I, I don't, yeah, that's more or less. That more or less is uh, Donkey Kong Country 2: Diddy's Conquest. Like, uh, uh, that's pretty much everything for the Super Nintendo version that I can really show because I don't feel like showing the glitches. I don't really feel like showing the Castle Crush glitch because I don't really, I haven't really done it myself though. But and it's one of those that gets. Because it can crash the game though, and like and th th restore point in this would help out with that though. But I'm, I guess the, because I'm not really versed that though, I'm not really fond of like showing glitches unless it's like a like a weird, unless it's just like a cool thing though. That's something that can actually crash the game though with that though. But but yeah, so who knows what's gonna come next actually with this with this? So I'm pretty, so uh, I know there's always Crash Bandicoot to, to go back to with that though. But there's something oh there's maybe a couple more I want to do before I want to return to that though. So. To whatever series that is, though, I will see you guys then, and thank y'all for watching.